Agents searched a local home and made a disturbing discovery. Now, a man faces 20 felony charges involving child pornography. Megan Schiller joins us live with how investigators tracked down the suspect. Megan? The suspect's name is Matthew Thompson. He's a truck driver, but he lives here in Washington. And because he was out on the road, investigators say they had to call him on the phone and he had to give permission for them to search his house and ultimately seize his laptop. Investigators say it's what they found on his laptop that led to these charges. The suspect, Matthew Thompson, lives here along Fayette Street. Only a barking dog greeted me when I knocked at his Washington home, the same home where agents with the Department of Homeland Security executed a search warrant, seizing Thompson's laptop just last week. Thompson told investigators he'd watched child porn maybe once or twice, but investigators found 61 total files on two laptops, 33 videos of suspected child pornography in the defendant's computer's recycle bin alone, 11 pictures and 17 more videos elsewhere. I mean, why would you want to look at that? Some of them are five, six, seven year olds. That's sick. That is really sick. Wow. Neighbors on Thompson Street looked over the 20 felony charges filed Tuesday. Three felony charges for disseminating film of child sex acts, 16 charges for child pornography, and one charge for the criminal use of a laptop. It's sick knowing that. Like I said, that I live right across from somebody like that. Thompson appeared before a judge Tuesday, and the judge released him on a $20,000 unsecured bond. That's so sad that that happens in this world today, you know? Because children are children. They should be treated as children. I'm sad about that. The judge's office tells me that he was never sent to jail because he was cooperative. He's set to go before the judge again on December 4th. Coming up at 6, hear from Attorney General Josh Shapiro and what his office has to say about the case. Reporting live in Washington, Megan Schiller, KDK News.